So first of all, you get your flat screwdriver and you need to undo these clips here. So one, two, three, and four. And then this part will come off. Remove the brush bar by simply undoing this end cap and the brush slides out. Make sure it spins freely. Do not wash this brush bar because there's actually a bearing in there. Remove the following screws. There's eight of them, okay? So three at the front, one here, here, here. So that's three at the front. There's one here as well. There's two on either side here. And then there's two more here. With all these screws removed, those eight from underneath, this part should lift out. It is a bit of a fiddle, but if you get your flat screwdriver and lift up from underneath, it will unclip. And it should slide out from here as well. So just give that a bit of a guide. That's not done properly. But yeah, it does come out really easily. Like so. The wires just sit in these grooves, okay? So lift up on these wires for them to pop out their grooves. Pull them out like that. Make sure that they're not above this clear window because this will literally now come apart. Like so. You can wash this now and give it a polish. I'm not cleaning mine because this is a spare one that I don't use, but literally goes back in. Make sure that you line it properly so that the seals actually connect with the rims. Make sure that the wires don't get trapped here. Make sure that's flush all the way around. So make sure that your wires are not trapped anywhere. This part just sits here. Push the wires into their grooves. And there we go. Next we put this back on. It will just clip in, but make sure that this rim here fits underneath this part. That's the main focus. There we go. Put all eight screws back in, then reconnect this like that. It will just click in. Put your brush bar back in. Lock it up, and you've got an as new cleaner head.